Mustafa, welcome to Lusfield Town. Tell us a little bit about when you first found out about the possibility of coming here. Um, yeah, my agent gave me a call and said um, Huddersfield were interested and um, I've met obviously Chris um, a few times when we've played against each other and um, I had a few texts from old teammates and friends like Scan and Ish and obviously I spoke to Dino and um, Jacob Butterfield so um, yeah they, they obviously sold me the place and just said it would be a good place to play and um, yeah I fancied it from day one. So yeah, so good reports from the people that you know at Huddersfield Town about what you can expect here. Yeah, yeah, everyone's everyone said like obviously. Um they've um, I spoke to Dino in um, in depth and he just said like um he would love me to come here and hopefully add to their um attacking options. So um I've heard they try and pass the ball which which will suit me down to the tee. Um I like to get on the ball as much as I can, so yeah, hope hopefully um I can um make an impact and um, show the fans what I can do. In particular, Sean Scannell, you mentioned there, has, has flourished under Chris Powell's management. Yeah. Uh, it seems to have a knack for bringing the best out of wingers. That must be music to your ears. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. I'm, that's, that's, that's what I'm hoping, really. So, uh, um, we, I obviously played against Huddersfield when I was on loan at Brighton and um, it was a tough game, 0-0. Nil -nil. And um, me and Sean spoke after and he's enjoying it quite a lot. So, um, hopefully me and him can play, have some games together and um, hopefully... Um, be even better together. Obviously the loan at Brighton caps off what must have been a frustrating year for you through injury. How important is playing on a regular basis to you this season? Um, yeah, that's the most that's the most important for me. Um, and obviously always getting results because I'm a sore loser. I hate losing. So um, yeah, we'd, I'll, I'll be definitely trying my best. Um, I'm feeling good. I've had, I've had a good pre-season and um, just looking to kick on now and get some games under my belt. Chris Powell's told the club website that you're a player that he thinks will excite the fans. Tell us a little bit about your style of play and what Huddersfield Town fans can expect. Um, well, I like to get on the ball as much as I can. Um, a lot of people say I'm quick. <laughs> um, and I like, I like taking on people. I love a one-on-one -on -one situation, so I'll always be trying to um, take people on and obviously try and score as many goals as I can. But most importantly... Um, assist for the strikers. Hopefully, I can get Ish a few goals. Um, so I spoke to him earlier. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, you could be right into the action. We've got QPR at home on Saturday. How much would you love to be involved in that game? Um, yeah, there's there's no better games. And like you want to play against the bigger teams. So um, for me, I, I I prefer playing against the teams that pass the ball. So yeah, um, if I'm if I'm called upon, then um, hopefully I can have a good start. Obviously, uh, you know a few of the lads here, but yeah. then after the QPR game, we've got an international break. Yeah. I suppose it'd be an ideal time for you to get to know some of your team. Yeah, team. definitely. It, it's probably come at the right time because it, it gives you time to kind of settle in and, and um, sort things even off the pitch as well. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting all the boys. Um, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's really hard. It's the same as every football club, really. So, um, and I was talking to Dino and he said they were, everyone's really nice here. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I can't, get, um, can't wait to get going. When you know the, the calibre of players we have here, you know Dean Whitehead well, Jacob Butfield was yeah. a player of the year yeah. last year. Yeah. What do you think this is, is realistic for this team to achieve this season? Um, for me, I think it's hard for me to judge at the moment because I've not had time to play with the boys yet. But um, ask me that question in a couple of weeks and um, I think I'll be able to give you a clearer answer. But um, from yeah, the players that they do have here, then I don't see no reason why we can't be challenging for the top um, top top half of the um, table. Mm. Do you think the championship's getting harder year on year? Because you've got, you've got good experience, you've been yeah. in for a couple yeah. of seasons now. Um, I'm not too sure really, because I, I think, I think this, this, this year you've got a really open league. I think everyone can beat everyone. So um, I don't, like obviously a few of the teams have been named as favourites, but I don't think, I don't really think that's the case. So um, with the players, with the players that we've got here, we've just got to go into every game and try and win really. We've got really good attacking players, so um, we just got to concentrate on us and trying to win games, not worrying about if we're playing QPR or playing whoever it is. On a personal level, how important was it to you to stay in the Championship? Obviously, you've come out to get games, but how yeah. important was it to stay at this level? Oh yeah, I was always going to stay in the Championship. I weren't, I, I weren't really interested in playing any lower. Um, I felt like in the years that I've played before my injury, I had a real good impact and was playing really well. So. Um, yeah, it was always my intention to stay in a championship and uh, just play for a team that suits my style of play.
now all the boxes are ticked on the move, how excited are you about the prospect of pulling on the blue and white shirt? For the um, me, I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. I, I just can't wait to be playing. Um, obviously, I'm going to obviously build up my fitness and stuff like that. But um, in terms of playing wise and sharpness and that, I've been training. I've not missed one training session since I've been back from injury. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to get going. You played in a few of the friendlies for Middlesbrough as well. So um, yeah, I played, yeah, I played quite a few um, pre-season games. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to get going.